Oh yeah, how are we doing? Yeah, I hope you're all right. Um, welcome to Guerrilla Physics Live on this is your A-level results day. So um, I just want to check in and see how you guys were all doing really. And so you could share your experience. And um, if you're watching this recorded, which a lot of you kind of will be, I know a lot of you watch these things recorded, then well, yeah, sub up and make sure you've got notifications so that you can see these things live. I had a bit of an issue scheduling because I was set on Pacific time. But um, let me know, these are my kind of four questions for you. How was your experience of results day? Did you get the results that you wanted? Did you get onto the course you wanted? Are you pleased? What was your experience like? Uh, what's your advice to year 11 and maybe year 12 as well? What's your advice to people embarking on A-levels, maybe coming into their final year of school? Have any of you gone through clearing and what's your experience of that? Okay, that's a really important one, I think, because that you should be approaching clearing with kind of confidence, I think. Approaching whatever you get, if you get into any university at all, you should be approaching that with loads of confidence that you're going to have really good experience of that. Uh, what are your plans for next year? Let us know where you're going. Okay, um, if you haven't seen my A-level results video, then that's linked up in the description below as well. That's a kind of recreation of my A-level results day um, in 2003. <laughs> so, um, well, but the main points of that kind of weren't just, um, <laughs> they weren't just, here, here's my results showing off because they, they, they were pretty good results. There was, um, the real point of that is that there's two results. There's the one you're happy with and the one that you're not. And the one you're happy with is because you know you worked hard enough and you know you put your best in. So whatever your results were today in Edel Results Day, if you know you put your best effort in and be really, really pleased with yourself there. Um, if you didn't put your best in the second result and you knew you could have done better, well, um, there's a kind of second chance and that's whatever's next. You, should, you put your heart and soul into that. And really that's the message and I'll put out my GCSE um, results day video next week as well. And the message of that is actually, I wasn't really fully happy with my GCSE results. So I put more effort into my A-levels because of that. So if you get somewhere and you get into any university at all, be confident it's a good university, be confident that um, you're going you're gonna to go there and have a great experience and put your best into that. And that's your step to the next kind of level um, as well. Um, I uh, just have a little think about the chat. Look at the chat. I guarantee you're only getting threes in my GCSE results day. Okay, well, you know, let's let's see. And if you put your effort into those and you got threes, then you should be proud of them. Okay. Um, so those questions again, if you're watching now, what was your experience of results day? So were you happy with that? Uh, did you get onto the course you wanted? What, what did you get onto? Um, what's your advice to year 11 and year 12? So next year is year 13. And next, the next people starting A-level, what's your advice for A-levels? Has anyone gone through clearing? Okay, how did that go? Um, what are your plans for next year? And if you're not watching this live, then just leave them in the normal comments and we'll have that conversation down there as well. But let me know, let me know in the comments, okay? So, um, well done to my students. I know some of you will see this. I was really, really pleased to receive them today. There's a few people maybe slightly above where I was predicting them and a few people slightly below. And I'm equally pleased with you because I know you put that all effort in. I know you know who you are. And um, so I'm not gonna speak to any of you directly some of you had a really difficult year 13 and I'm really absolutely pleased with that result that you got. Okay, um, absolutely all of you should be really pleased. You put in the best, <laughs> you put in your best effort and you banged your A-levels, okay? And you, I hope you've enjoyed studying physics with me. I've enjoyed teaching you. So uh, whatever's next for you guys, do let me know. I know a lot of you have got your firm offers. Um, I'm really pleased for you and you're gonna have an excellent excellent experience at university okay so just go there and put your best efforts in hard work starts to really pay off at university rather than just you know those people who just find exams really easy well at university it starts to be the people who are willing to put in that real shift okay so you can do that all right <laughs> so um uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to prepare for a level physics some of you in the chat seem to be year 11s um, then I put out a video just a couple of days ago, how to prepare for A-level um, physics with a kind of free ebook that you can get from that. So there's a link for that in the description as well. So go ahead and check out those. So once more in the chat, how was your experience of results day? Are you pleased with what you got? Did you get onto the course what you got? What's your advice to year 11 and year 12? Have you gone through clearing and what was your experience of that like? And what are your plans? What are you, got, what, what are you getting onto next year? Um, Somebody's asking, do I know anyone who got into Oxbridge? I don't, um, but I don't know everybody, uh, everybody's destinations from my school. So there may well have been some people who got into Oxbridge from there. <laughs> I 
year 11 cared more about Fortnite, right? So is that maybe your advice to year 11 of next year? Maybe you spend less time on the computer. There was one student of mine who was a real interest in FIFA and it gave me the confidence when he said, no, I haven't actually touched FIFA for a good couple of months. And maybe that's why he or she made the distinction between that. <laughs> you want to study physics at Harvard. Well, that's interesting. Now, whether you want to go to America to study because America costs a lot more to go to university than it does in Britain because it's a bit more subsidized in Britain than it is in America. So I don't know whether I'd recommend a British person going to study at Harvard. You could, but you're going to, you're going to have to think about borrowing maybe four times as much just for tuition before you even thought about uh, living expenses and things like that. Um, sorry, I'm using my kind of phone here because, well, I'm coming to you from uh, rainy Glasgow and um, this is the kind of best thing that I can I can do at the minute. <laughs> uh, so when I'm just when the screen's wobbling, it's because I'm trying to look at the chat on my phone as well. Uh, I've got A star, A star, A, A, and I'm going to study physics at Imperial. Oh, that's amazing. That's great news. OK, thanks for your help with all your uh, live streams. That's ba that's banging. Yeah, that is really incredible, especially doing four A levels. I did four A levels, but uh, to get two A stars and two A's at four A levels. That is incredible, my man. Mr. Mask got A star, A star in maths, chemistry and physics. Also going in imperial physics. So you guys want to like, I don't know, uh, check, check each other out in a Discord or something <laughs> and uh, get to know each other. And uh, you know, you, you, you'll see each other in the lectures and your tutorials next year at um, Imperial as well. Um, I, the, you're not the only people who have told me um, that you've got, um, I'll come back to chat in a little while, anyone else who's uh, coming there who've told me that you got into Imperial. Also, Lindsay got into Imperial, got in touch with me earlier on. Really nice to hear from you, Lindsay. And I will, um, I've got some ideas and I'll chat back to you in a little while. And, um, you know, you, Imperial is one of the best universities for science, uh, for sciences. And Imperial, um, Lindsay's gonna study engineering at Imperial. So it won't be directly in the same class as you do in the pure physics, um, but be in the same kind of area, the school, I imagine. Um, and said so some really nice things, you know, so there's incredible results, straight A's in his um, A-levels um, and uh, some really nice things about my channel about how well I, the live fees kind of prepared him for those and also about the study skills and motivation so that was really really nice because that's in the next kind of year I'm going to be more focusing not on just tutorials and things although they'll still feature quite a lot um, but I'm, I'm hoping for a bit more kind of study skills and motivation kind of content on my channel and maybe even some um, non-physics content as well which I hope that you guys will be interested in. So if you're going to university please stick around and there'll be things that I'm sure I'm trying to appeal to university level students as well and people maybe who aren't studying just in general, um, people who are just interested in interesting stuff. Okay so really hope you have a great time at um, Imperial, that's, that's great news. Also I like to think about um, videos that show the really exciting parts of physics as well. Okay. So um, also in the description linked up are three videos from a little while ago. One of which is why you should study physics. So if you're still making those choices, why you should study physics with one of my friends, Mr. Ian Irvin, featuring that. And also um, some study skills videos about the Feynman techniques and how to increase the effectiveness of your learning. So check those out because that's the type of thing that I'll be talking about in the near future. Um, also, earlier on, I had an inquiry from a GCC student who's worried, I think, about whether they should go on to A-levels. Now, A-levels is such a big challenge and, um, you know, as teachers, we see students who maybe haven't um, found GCSEs and the exams uh, manageable and think about whether we're going to advise them to study A-levels next year. And you have to take that advice in the way it's meant, which is really, really positively. But also the advice is, well, if you, if you are determined and you're hardworking, then you can be a success at A-level. And I'm sure you guys that have just finished your A-levels this, um, this year and just picked up your results will echo that. You have to be hardworking and determined to make a success of your A-levels. It's not, it's not an option. It's, there's nobody who turns up and just kind of bangs their A-levels. Um, you've got to really put that effort in. So that is my advice really to year 11s and, and year 12s, you know, going into this next year. You have to be hardworking, you have to be determined, you have to believe in yourself. You have to think, why did I bother studying this subject in the first place? Why do I'm, I really am passionate, I really want to get into this. I'm more interested in this subject than I am interested in Fortnite. And I really want to get there, I really want to get to where I want to go. So you have to have that. And I'm thinking of a few kind of videos, especially at the start of term, to kind of just focus on that kind of motivation, why you should um, put that effort in. Because I guarantee you, 
A-levels is one of the hardest academic times in your life. Okay, so university, yes, is challenging, but it's a bit more manageable because you, you zero in on one kind of thing. You've become a real specialist in one kind of area. But A-levels, you have that, still have that breadth and you have that really, really challenging exams. I'm really absolutely pleased to see, wow, everyone seems to have done fantastically. And this is like 25% of people are getting A's and A-stars in A-levels now, which is a really, really great. Uh, it's increasing and increasing and increasing if you look at the graphs on all the <laughs> news out. All right, um, anyway, um, so just think about that. determination, okay, uh, willing to put the effort in and you're going to do well at A-levels. That's my main message to year 11 and year 12. Okay, so th this is a bit of an aside, but uh, oh, I'll check out the chat first and then we'll get back to that. So talking about, you know, that's interesting, making money from Fortnite. Yeah, there is that, there is that, but uh, you've got to think about your whole life rather than just Fortnite, which is, Fortnite is a bit of a fad, I think. Um, and it is, at the end of the day, Fortnite's a freemium game. And freemium games, like, do you remember being obsessed with um, Pokemon Go? Wouldn't last very long, did it? Um, so just be aware of that. Gaming, I'm really pleased that gaming, because I was quite into gaming when I was a kid, I'm really pleased that gaming's become a viable career for people. But remember, the people who are, are currently making games, writing games, they've all kind of got educations, good educations. They've gone to universities and things as well. And they, they're putting that knowledge into creating great content now. So although being a gamer seems like a great career, a great option, I wouldn't make it your only string to your bow because you might find that when you're a little bit older, you're not that keen on Fortnite and you've got all this Fortnite skill level, which uh, isn't really worth as much as it might have been there. But if you're making money, man, then that's awesome. Right. Okay, so um, I was just thinking about kind of uh, teacher tubers and there's a lot out there and a little bit I want to say just about that. So it's a bit of an aside, but I hope you find it interesting. Well, um, there's a few that I approached recently and I was a bit surprised they weren't that interested in collaborating. So I want to give a shout out to three who have been really interested in collaborating whenever I've approached them. So if you're doing A-level physics, you've probably found A-level physics online. Uh, Lewis is absolutely amazing and big shout out to you, sir, because whenever I've approached you to collaborate on something, we did a lot of live feeds together and things like that during the exam season, that was great. Um, Primrose Kitten has gone from, you know, very small YouTube when I met her uh, to a huge kind of following now, 70,000 subscribers, which is incredible for a teacher tuber. Always willing to collaborate if, if I approach it, and always willing to put in a little bit in. So that's, that's absolutely lovely. And then um, Chris Garzard as well, absolutely amazing channel, some of the best kind of physics demonstrations I've seen on YouTube. So I'll just a big shout out to those because you're the type of teacher tuber that we really want to see. And there's loads of room on YouTube for more teachers to put their stuff out there. So what I want to do is, uh, or maybe uh, you guys know a teacher that you think would be really good on YouTube. And I've made a couple of videos that need a bit of love from you. Uh, and I've linked them up in the description or they're really easy to find. It's how to make educational videos on your phone and how to edit the educational videos on your phone. So I don't know if you think that there's a teacher that you think has got a really good sense of humor, a really good way of explaining their subject then can you maybe think about suggesting them that they get on YouTube and suggesting to them that they maybe look at those two videos and think, well, how easy is it to actually make YouTube videos? Um, how easy is it to put your kind of knowledge and expertise out there? Because I know you guys are looking for it. Okay, um, somebody's asked me about uh, GCC and yeah, I will do a live feed on um, GCC results day as well. And I've got a GCC results day video coming out in a little while. I don't have a Discord. I've been looking, I've been thinking about making a Discord server, but we'll, we'll tr talk about that another time. Um, okay, and then the last couple of things, just to say to you before I say ta -ra, just remind you again uh, to let me know how your A-level results day went. Did you get what you want? Did you, how, what was your experience like? Were you pleased? Where are you going next year? What's your advice to year 11 and year 12? And what are your plans for next year? Or have you gone through clearing and what was your experience of that like? Um, I, yeah, I just want to talk about um, when I did approach an internationally famous uh, artist, I approached him and he was incredibly willing to collaborate. And I just wrote him an email and said, oh, um, do you mind? I really want to use some of your videos in a set of videos I'm putting together called Science 
um, Art of Science and Science of Art, and that's coming in September, so you should be excited about that. His name's Theo Janssen, and I've linked up his website and his YouTube channel below, and check out Theo Janssen, because he's awesome stuff. And this guy, um, you know, there are articles about him in all the big news outlets, you know, he's an, in, an internationally famous artist, and when you look at the, those videos and you look at that website, you'll see why people are so impressed by him. And when I write to him and say, do you want to collaborate? Do you mind if I work with you? Do you mind, do you mind if I use something of yours to, for education purposes? And he just comes back with, yeah, sure, it's for education, go. Then I was a bit surprised when I approached, and I'm not going to name these <laughs> teacher tubers, I was a bit surprised when I approached a couple of teacher tubers who were like, no, I'm not interested, so I've not got time. Um, and it, worse than that, think that, you know, working with you would make, it, you're, you're like my competition. And I found that a bit strange that teacher tubers would think about us having like a competition online. I don't really think that's really uh, the way it is. So there are a couple of other links just there. Um, Isaac Physics is coming out for GCC, so if you're a GCC student and there is now an Isaac Physics book for you that you can get from the Isaac Physics website very, very cheaply. I think it's like £2 for a student to buy that and have it mailed to their door, so that's fantastic. The A-level Isaac Physics book is incredible as well, and I've linked that below if you're interested in that. My own um, Introduction to Physics kind of summer course book is available for free from Smashwords, and that's linked up below as well. And lastly, if you're going to university and you think that, um, well, yeah, I'm going to make a Freshers' Week video, actually, because Freshers' Week is a really exciting time, and I want you to make the most out of Freshers' Week. Um, but there is a deal for students to get uh, Amazon Prime for free for six months and then half price for another six months. So if you're going to university, I think if I was going to university now, having Amazon Prime or, um, would be having Amazon Prime would be absolutely fantastic for those little things that you just forget, those little things that are important for your course and you haven't got time to really go shopping because you want to go out with these new friends that you're trying to make and you want to you know, act all chill and everything like that and have a really good time. So there's a link down there that's like an affiliate link that uh, gives me just a little bit um, if you sign up for Amazon Prime for free. So it'd be a really, really useful thing. Amazon Prime it has been really useful for us with our, our new baby. And uh, well, this is what we're doing. I'm on holiday in Scotland in my uh, parents-in-law's house. Um, but uh, uh, <laughs> having Amazon Prime has been really, really useful, as you can think, for getting those quick bits of baby stuff that we've forgotten. Um, you know, I think that's a really, really useful thing to have. Then just get that membership because that's the type of thing that you'll be thinking in university, like, oh, if I just had that, if I just had that, that'd be really good. And it would save you having to go out to those shops and spend your time shopping when you could be studying or in first year and early in Freshers' Week, just having fun. All right, so that's me. Once more, um, I hope you'll stay tuned to Gorilla Physics. If you're thinking to yourself, this is a physics channel, I'm not interested then yeah, okay, I understand that you might want to unsubscribe, but to be honest, I really want to make this more of a motivational, more interesting channel for everybody, not just people studying GCC or A-level physics. So um, please do stick around, stay subscribed, and let me know, you know, let me know, like, maybe uh, this can become more of a community where you guys help each other out a little bit more. So that's why I'm asking those questions in the um, comments if you want to leave anything. Then how was your experience of results day? How did it go for you? Are you pleased? Did you get onto the course you wanted? What's your advice to year 11 and year 12? Anybody go through clearing? And what are your plans for next year? So this is Gorilla Physics, and I will see you next week. I've got a couple more videos to release, and um, I've got a GCC Results Day video coming out the day before GCC Results Day, and I'll be live on Results Day, so long as we're going to an island. So, so long as there's internet available, I don't think there'll be four Gs. <laughs> How much more difficult would you say your degree was than A-levels? The degree was easier than A-levels, you know, for sure. But the, my degree was architecture, so it was more um, kind of courseworky based. And um, the reason why I didn't get a fantastic result in my GC, my sorry, my university um, degree was, and I did fine in my degree, don't get me wrong, um, I didn't do as well as maybe I could have done was because I was always more interested by that point in doing what I wanted to do <laughs> rather than what the course wanted to do. So it, I studied architecture and sometimes I would submit like a poem rather than a drawing of a building <laughs> and it wasn't always um, well received. But um, I did do fine and I did get the degree with honours, which is the thing that you want um, after your name really. I'm a Master of Arts MA. I'm not a MSc or anything like that. I don't have a science degree, I have an arts degree. Um, but yeah, it was, I found it more straightforward. Um, 
I loved architecture and absolutely found it really fascinating, but it wasn't harder. I don't know whether the sciences, I don't know whether the physics will be harder at uh, A-level. Um, I, I imagine there's going to be some pretty tr tricky physics stuff, but if you're kind of confident with maths, then I think that, that you become so specialised in that, that you're, you're going to start to find it like pretty straightforward as well. You just get, you think about it, like if you did like maths, chemistry and physics this year, then if you're just thinking about physics, then you've got all that extra, like um, all that extra like breadth, all that extra uh, bandwidth, if you like, in your brain available to devote to that physics. And that's why I think university feels easier, even though the level is higher, you're just focused on one kind of area so you can really kind of tunnel in and even after the first and second years you will your projects will be so specialized so specialized that that um you, you, you kind of forget a whole load more and you just become this kind of specialist into this one little thing you know a huge amount about a tiny little area of physics and that's that's what university studies like all right dudes have a good one. keep enjoying your summer holidays won't you <laughs>